Hey guys, today on Low Carb with Jennifer, we are going to make sesame crusted tuna steaks. It's super easy, can be ready in about 10 minutes. You can find the link in the description below, the link to the recipe, or you can go to jenniferbands.com and search for tuna steaks. So I've got some tuna steaks here that we, we bought frozen. And I think that, you know, if you don't have like a, you know, I don't know, fishmonger that you trust, I wouldn't go to, I don't know, buy fresh fish at some sketchy place and then cook it this way because pretty much the inside is raw. And that's how I like it. It's rare pretty much. So I buy them already frozen just because that when they buy fish, when it comes tuna, when it comes off of, when they, eh, what am I saying? I did my research. When they pull tuna out of the ocean, it immediately gets frozen. So if you buy frozen fish, it doesn't mean it's any less fresh than if you were to buy it fr fresh because it's already been frozen. So this is frozen and we thawed it. And now I'm going to put some sesame oil and this is going to be a quick, very, very, very quick marinade because the tuna, it absorbs it so fast. You can just see how it absorbs it because the skin starts, not the skin, the flesh of the tuna starts to change, get dark. You can see that it's absorbing the marinade. Just like so. So while that is marinating, I'm gonna get a skillet ready. And we want it to be about medium, medium high heat, because when we put the sesame seeds on there, we're going to sear it just for like one minute on each side. And I've got some sesame seeds here, so beautiful. Some black and white sesame seeds. You could use all black, you could use all white if you want to. I'm doing a mix. So this, you can see, when I flip this, you can just see how fast it absorbed all of that soy sauce. So that is our flavor for our tuna. So now we can put it in our sesame seeds and get a nice coating on all sides. Isn't that, I just love this recipe. I never really thought I would like, you know, rare tuna. Can't believe, I mean, I can't remember when I first had it, but the first time I had it, I just know that I loved it and I couldn't get enough. I had to add it to my website because it's so delicious. So while our skillet's getting hot, I don't know why I did that. This is the hot pan. Okay, so we're gonna put this in our skillet. It's gonna. So I'm gonna have just enough sesame seeds for this, for these two tuna steaks. And if it doesn't make like a completely, you know, it's gonna have some holes in it. It's not gonna completely coat this tuna, but that's perfect. Now I'm only gonna do one minute on each side and on the sides. And if you want them not to be so rare in the middle, then you can cook them for as long as you want. But I think it's better if they're really pink on the inside. So you can see whenever you're cooking the tuna, you can watch the side and you can see how cooked it's getting, like how far into the tuna it's cooking. And you can just judge by the side on how, how long you want to leave it in the pan. And I love the way that the sesame seeds get nice and toasty in the skillet that gives it so much flavor, like a really yummy, nutty flavor. And look at that, that one's already ready to flip. Oh man, that's so beautiful. Look at that pretty, that's a heart-shaped 
tuna steak. That is perfect. <laughs> you could serve this for Valentine's Day. Just gonna keep cooking these for about a minute on each side and then they're gonna be ready. And when you do the sides, you just, if it's gonna fall over, just depending on the thickness of your tuna steak, you can hold it up with your tongs. I'm gonna make sure we get it all seared on all sides. Okay, these are ready to come out of the skillet. Can move this out of the way. And we are ready to slice one up so I can just show you how gorgeous they are in the center. Look at that. Oh, that's so beautiful. That's perfect. That's exactly what you want. That's exactly what I want. Now, if you want yours a little more done in the middle, then you need to cook it a little bit longer, of course, but this is what I like. Guys, I hope you like this recipe. As you can see, it was super quick, less than 10 minutes. And you can find the link in the description below, the link to the recipe, or you can go to jenniferbands.com and search for uh, sesame crusted tuna. And I will see you guys later. Bye.